Well, good morning to you all. Good morning. Tuesday, 21st of May, 2024. The day after a public holiday, day when I need to replenish the supplies in my cupboards. The first job is the comical one. I've got to get a replacement gas bottle for the gas cooker. That's an exercise that you really need a 13 year old computer nerd to help you with. Anyway, the weighty subject for this morning is the multiple issue of a colour scheme and a name and a motto and all those sorts of corporate image things for the Vliegen Wangers and Malta Railway. Now, at that. A Dutch registered car. Hmm. Now, there are prizes for worthy suggestions, but this company models itself on um, best business practices. And so we had a couple of suggestions from one gentleman but the the company CEO's personal assistant said that unfortunately his name was illegible yeah so we solved that problem quite quite simply the first suggestion he had was that the the colour scheme perhaps should be based loosely on the the Midland Railway or the London Midland and Scottish Railway. Now, it must be said that the committee found great merit in this, partly because young Harry Faber always considered himself to be a London Midland Scottish Railway man. Hmm. So it's a suggestion that has gained a lot of support. But because we couldn't read the name of the man who submitted the entry, the CEO's PA has been awarded the prize, which is a weekend for two, all expenses paid in a top spa hotel. I'm not quite sure why one of the other managers needed to take the second place with her. Um, that is perhaps one of those mysteries that we shouldn't delve too deeply into. Now the second part of that gentleman's correspondence, whoever he was, he used the word dignified. Now, in the meeting was the defrocked minister, the Reverend Ephraim Faber. Now, Ephraim Faber is a funny sort of chap. Um, how you manage to get defrocked from, from a non-denominational church is a mystery, but he did. Uh, and how he still draws consultancy fees from the V&M Railway. Well, the company auditor struggles to understand that. There is a theory that because he's Ebenezer's brother, he, but whatever, whatever. But he roused himself from his drink-induced slumber just as the PA said the word dignified and somewhere from the depths of his subconscious he came out with a phrase dignum et justum est and then he fell back into a semi-coma Dignum et justum est. Now, 
we're going to have a lengthy debate about this. Is it dignum et justum est with a J? Or is it dignum et justum est with an I? So I invite all of you to do a Google search on that little phrase. You see, you always have to be careful in selecting corporate images that you don't tread on anyone else's toes. You know, is, is a phrase already copyrighted? Uh, could a phrase lead to future embarrassment? Now, embarrassment, it was during such a process as this that the ill-fated Broadstairs, Dover, Sandwich and Margate Railway suddenly decided to change its name. Don't put that into your Google search bar unless you've got a very good lawyer. And the funny little railway built between two of the islands up in the Outer Hebrides owned by Clan MacDonald that wanted to use as their corporate badge, their, their blazon, their shield. They wanted a, a stylized image of the twin arch bridge that linked two of the islands. But Clan MacDonald got a very stiff letter from the corporate lawyers for a large fast food outlet that said it was too similar to their own um, logo, so they were banned. So the process of, of choosing corporate image, badge, motto, is a lengthy one. And the management team will be working hard on it, uh, so hard that they decided that they need a week in rural France to cogitate. That's a good word. Cogito. Here goes some. Hmm. Anyone would think that I wasn't very far from the town of Descartes.